ating puntag sa tanan, let's all stand and let's pray for one another.
close our eyes and lift up our hands. Come on. We came here for the presence of God. We just feel His presence. The Bible says, seek, seek and knock. Today, I'd encourage you, engage and seek the presence of God. What's the reason of coming to church and we don't engage His presence? Come on, just begin to feel His presence of worship.
that we would come home to you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Come and just begin to grab a partner and begin to pray for one another. Pray that the Lord would speak to you, that his word will be like fire in your soul, in your spirit, that no one person will leave this place the same. Just begin to pray passionately for one another. Good morning. May buntag. Amen. So let's keep praying for Pastor Irwin. He's still in the hospital. So I will be de delivering the message tonight, today. Shall we pray again? Lord, I pray, Father, for your spirit, your Holy Spirit, to hover over this place, over our hearts and our lives. God, I pray for your angels to minister to us this morning. Lord, I pray that you give your word clarity. Lord, I pray that your word will be like fire in our hearts. Lord, I pray that your word would burn every doubt. Your word would turn into ashes. Everything that is hindering us from growing, from having a deep relationship with you, God. Lord, I declare that your word this morning will be life-changing. It will be like bread unto our soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One of the things that I have noticed when we were in Jerusalem was um, children tend to call more upon their father. There was one time we were walking, um, I think sa Jaffa Gate, we were going home. Dagan kay tao, yeah, you know, ang mga Orthodox Jews, they... <coughs> Ilagay yung sanina kay long sleeve, naka Americana, formal gid kay na sila, and naana sila ay um, skull cup, inya na yung mga tassels din eh. And pati ilang mga abata, inana ang suot. 
<coughs> sa sige na mo lakaw dito, baga kay ang tao, na bata, maybe around five or six years old, he was lost. And he was holding his, I think it was food, and he was running, and he was, he was crying, and he was looking for his Abba. Sige siya dagan-dagan, gahilak siya, Abba, 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 Abba. Di ba diri sa Philippines kay, kung ang bata mawala kay, Mama, pangitaon? Mama, 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 pero dito na tingala kay, ko kay. Ang bata, ang yang gipangita, Abba, Abba, Abba. I was crying and and we wanted to help him pero na may language barrier. Kung ang mga tao kay, gatanaw lang, gadagandagan ng bata, gipangita, Abba, Abba, Abba. Kinsa na yung nawala dere sa bata pa ka, ang yang imong papa mo yung gipangita. Wala no, mahumagid no. But one thing that I have noticed in Israel, in their culture, they always look for their Abba. Abba means papa or daddy. Okay. Now somehow the church has lost this revelation of us having a father. You know, as we were worshiping, I heard the Lord said, the Father said, He said, it hurts me, our Heavenly Father, I'm talking about Him, because many times we act like He doesn't exist. Inimong abay na akay amahan. You have a father. We have a father. But many times, we act like we don't have a father. Okay? Gadako ta. Ah, by the way, kinsa din hi ang walay papa nga gadako? Si Bubbles sa. I know my mom namatay yung papa, akong grandpa, when she was still little. So gadako siya nga walay papa. Later, I'm going to share to you, I'm going to show you how the devil systematically destroyed our generation, okay, because of fatherlessness. Okay, he tried to, if he kills the fathers, he would kill our understanding of what a true father is. Now, our heavenly father wants to give us his love, his goodness, everything that he that's available to him as a father but somehow we tend to um, take it for granted or um, wala lang wala lang nato gi avail because of ignorance now i want us to understand this morning that we have a good heavenly father who will provide for everything we need especially in the last days Okay, I keep hearing uh, the revelation of the Father is needed in the last days. Exactly. Sa atong agian karon sa umaabot, akong nakita nga ang makaprotekta ragit sa ato og makaprovide is the revelation of our Heavenly Father. I saw a vision, okay, going through a, going through the tribulation period. And then, a child holding the father nahadlok pero gagunit sa kamot sa amahan. Nakasulay na mo og ako magtalawan man kog iro. Sa una makakita na ganing kog iro, mudagan na dayon ko. Ikapilan na ko nagdagandagan nga nakaihi kay gigukod kog iro. So layo pa gani ang iro, unha na na ako. Mo nang pagka elementary na ako, runner ko. <laughs> Ikapilan na ko gadagan nga nakaihi kay mahadlok kay kog iro. But Sometimes, when we go to sa, sa, mong, sa, sa una, sa mong compound, ang abay anak kay Igsoon sa kong lolo, dagan kay sila iro. Japanese speech, German Shepherd, mga saba. Kala mo sulod ganin ko dito, kung magkuyog mi sa kong papa, mahadlok ko, pero I feel sick, na ako'y secure. Security kay gagunit ko gana. Nakarelate mo? This is a picture of what we're going to go through in the last days. We need to hold on to the, to the hands of our Father as we go through uh, the tribulation period. Without the Father, we will never survive. Without the Father, we will never survive. 
And what I'm saying is without the fathers, without the revelation of the character of God, without experiencing the character of God, we will never survive. Okay? Right now, I'm collecting my experiences about God. The other day, uh, the, the, two days, three days ago, I asked my wife, do you have a tangible experience of God's provision? And I'm going to ask that same question today. Do you have a tangible experience of God's provision? Binisayo na ko na. Tabangin ako, Pao. Na ba kay ebidensya sa imong kinabuhi? Kani, nakuha na nako. Nga ang ginoo mo'y ga-provide sa imo. Amen? Ako ga-ihap na gud ko. Kay kung wala ko ebidensya or experience sa provision sa ginoo, when the tribulation comes, okay, when the Antichrist attacks us, wala na tayo laing saligan but the provision of God. Nothing else. Not your money, not other people, but your experience of Jehovah Jireh. That's it. Nothing else. And if you don't have that experience, I'm telling you, you will never survive. This is actually the continuation of uh, the message last Sunday. Okay? <clears throat> we need to learn how to experience God's provision. Ang nahitabo manggod sa ato, gadako ta, gasaligta sa atong ginikanan. Okay? As we are growing up, Murag, our parents are like God to us. Sila ang source of life, source of love, right? I'm talking about from infancy until the formative years, zero to seven. Our heroes are like our parents. Of course, if you have good parents. Sila ang pinakamaayo, pinakabright, kay tanan ni mo pangutan na matubag nila. Kung naalang ka sa ila, you feel secure. Is that right? And we don't have any concept of God. Hello? Wala takabalo na anaday ginoo. Para sa ato ang ginoo is our parents. That's why, becoming a father myself, I understood that I have to introduce God to my children by being a model. Hello? Because one day, mailhan nila nga, naaday kayo weaknesses. One day, when they grow up, they will outgrow me when it comes to intelligence. I'm praying uh, mas bless pa sila sa ako. Because when I grow up, abi na ko ang akong mama may pinakamayong umuluto. Dili day tanan pagkaon. Growing up, abi na ko ang akong papa may pinaka kusgan. Okay, sumbago na ako na yung tiyan. Di good madutlan. Ano ka, grabe akong papa ba? Huwag makalupig sa akong papa. Bago lang, niyon ko saya. De, sa una, sige kong sumbag. Hindi ko ka madutlan. Karun daw, isa lang. <laughs> and then, I outgrew my father. Para sa ako ba kay, sila ba ang dagko kayo? Pagdako na ko, eh, tagadiri naman din ako akong papa. And there are areas that I am better than him or better than my parents. When I was, I was growing up in school, tanan ako assignment, Kabalo ko nga, matubag na sa kong papa. Pero pagabutog high school, niingon siya, I remember, dito mi sa Manila, niingon siya, John, murag mo na ni nga panahon, nga dili na nako matubag ang imong mga pangutana. Ambot, unsa na itong subject? Murag algebra, kaya-kaya pa niya. Calculus, murag maglisod na. And then, hearing that from him, murag nagunaw na ko, ha? Naanda yung mga pangutana na ako, nga dili matubag sa kong papa? And I began to worry. Saan na lang ni? So nagsugo na rin kong pangupya. <laughs> my point here is, as I was growing up, I found out nga my parents are limited. But because of my personality, kulit, o grabe kay mo, mangayo, tangayo, kay ko grabe kay ko tangayo. Nauno na ko, Dobby, pagdako na ko, asa naman ko mangayo, asa naman ko mangutana. And then I got born again. Now, relating to my heavenly father was no problem to me. Kay tungod, as growing up, inana naman ng akong batasan ako sa akong papa o akong mama. 
And then, I began to be, murag nalutas na ko ba sa akong pagsalig sa akong gina, ginikanan. Yan, dito na din ko nihangad sa akong amahan. And right now, when I went into ministry, okay, when I heard about the testimony of Pastor Paul, my spiritual father, nga gibiyaan na yung trabaho, na siya'y tulog ka anak, nga gipaskwila, they had a good paying job. And then, paghawa nila, nagsaligid sila sa, sa our, our Heavenly Father. That encouraged me. Kung awa, gani ko'y gipaskwila. So, when I went into ministry, I relied heavily on my, on the provision of my Heavenly Father. Sa una, kinumdum ko, na ako yung mga long sleeve kay pagsulod sa ministry kinanglan na mag long sleeve unya wala gyud ko long sleeve sa unang sa man eh sa so, nangayo ko nangabutangan nag long sleeve ang akong cabinet ko nanay dua na itulo na nagatag hinumdum ko sa unang akong slacks kay murag michael jackson bitaw ay kutob dire oh <laughs> murag michael jackson karon uso-uso na man sa unang mangod kay patas anay nya mubo kay to sana but Every time nga mawadaan ako og long sleeve kay nangadaan na nga I would ask the Lord Father I need clothes mga but dayon na Father I need um unsa shoes mga but dayon na Lord I need I remember one time I was still working ko Lord gusto ko mukaon og Big Mac karon naa gyud naghatag og Big Mac No, God is a, a good provider, even with our little desires. And I got that, I got that, um, ano sa'yo na? Habit, because when I was still growing up, I always asked my, my, my earthly parents. So pag dako, sige po, kung pa ngayon. And time and time again, I had proven myself that the Lord is good and faithful. How many of you know that it is kanang stress free knowing nga nakay ka pangayuan Amen I'm telling you maski unsa ka kadato maski unsa ka kamaayo kung gasalig lang kasi mong kaog galingon Grabe kay naka stressful Ini mga bay you have a father Matthew chapter 7 until verse 11, okay? Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For er everyone who asks will receive and anyone who seeks will find and the door will be opened to those who knock. Would any of you who are fathers give your son a stone when he asks for bread? Or would you give him a snake when he asks for a fish? As bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven good things to those who ask Him? Isa sa mga kalipay sa isa ka sa amahan, kaya kanang bitong, mga ang imong mga anak, unya na kay ikahatag. Amen, Bamak? Daddy, seven seas. At higum din niyo. Patay, mahal kayo nila. Pero kaya man. Kira. But isa sa, sa pinakasakit, kaya ka namin itong mangayo ang imong anak. Unya, wala kay ikahatag. Hello? Have you experienced that? Nangayo ang imong anak. Unya, wala kay ikahatag. Sakit kayo. Isa na siya sa pinakasakit nga experience sa amahan. Pero na pa'y masakit. Na'y kaya ang amahan, pero ang anak galisod. Kaya nga naman, dili ka pa ngayo. Kasulay na mo, oh, kita na mo ang anak na, let's say, five, four years old, six years old, gaana sa lamisa. Uy, katapusan na sa bulan. Asa man ko magkuhaan ni pang bayad ko rin ti. Kadong na mo anak kay nana? Asa man ko pangita og pangbayad sa tubig? Kadong na mo og anak kay nana? Wala. Pero I'm telling you, this is a picture of our lives. Because as as we grow up, murag wala na tong ginikan, we tend to rely on ourselves. 
and we neglect that we have a heavenly father. This verse is encouraging us or commanding us to ask. Ingon din ni pangayo, panuktok, pangita. Ingon din ni Kung kamo mga earthly fathers, kabalo mo hatag ug maayong butang sa inyong mga anak, how much more for our heavenly father? This verse is actually challenging us to ask from the Lord, to ask from our heavenly father. James chapter 2 verse chapter 4 verse 2 says, "You have not because you ask not." Wala imo kay wa man kanangayo. Hello? You will experience the Father's provision if you keep asking Him. Now, let me ask you, what is the meaning of Father? If you Google na imo nang ibutang sa sana dictionary, isa gyud sa meaning sa Father is Creator. Okay? Pero sa Bible, ang alan sa Ginoo giattach na niya o um, iyang character. Okay? In the, the Hebrew word, God is L. E-L. L. Unya, every time nga na makasulat nga L dito, iyan ang sumpayan o iyang character. Kanun na mo, El Shaddai. El Gibor. El Lohim. Di ba? Um, El El Shama, El Rofa, El Rui. Hello, are you, are you getting this? Meaning, ang character sa ginoo, gi-attach niya. Iyang alam, gi-attach niya yung character. And one of the character of God is Jehovah Jireh. That is a very famous word. But not too many among Christians experience Jehovah Jireh. Now, the characteristic of a good father, kung sa may tagaira ko o character sa isa kamayo nga amahan. Kung sa Earl? Mamunal. Kanaan ko, Ana. Disciplinarian. Maayo ba ang amahan nga, nga, nga mamunal? Kana di lipot palabing yung bunal. Kana, disciplinarian. Maayo ba na siya nga amahan? Amen. Di ba kung kita akong bata, um, so mani, eh, kita akong bata, nga gisinggit-singgitan eh, ang mamag papa. Kinsa man yung mong basulon? Uy, 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 disiplina nga bata. A good father is a disciplinarian father. Amen? Ano, unsa pa? Na ako'y gisulat, upat dere. Good provider. Mano, Jehovah Jireh. A good provider. Amen? Muha, na, reflection daw ng mga anak sa ginikanan. Hello? Na ako'y kaila. Elim, high school pa siya, elementary. Na ay ang maggaplano sila o class Christmas party. So, Patak-patak. Ang sa'yo mong dadoon, ang sa'yo mong dadoon. Kani nga bata, confident kayo siya sa'yo ginikanan. Ana siya nga. Teacher, ako. Litsyo na ako, teacher. Uli da yun siya. Pa. Nag-volunteer ko sa skilahan o glitsyon. You know, I talk to the parents, nagkatawa siya. Grabe, kini ka confident akong anak ko. Ngayon ko nga, niya, nihatag mo. O, oh, nihatag. Kabaluman ang anak sa capacity sa iyong ginikanan. Kabaluman siya nga, ka-afford man akong ginikanan o glitsyon. Kaya lang nila. So, volunteer siya. Inanaon tapod ta ka-confident when it comes to our Father. Hello? Sa una, nagsugod lang ko o nagsugod lang ko o chinilas Karsonis, sa Nina, hantud sa, nangayo kog motor, ko Lord, nangayo kog four wheels, sunod, sa kanan lang ganito, Lord, nangayo kog brand new. Karon, kapangayo na sa kog mas dako pa, increasing. 
This is what I call your experience of Jehovah Jireh. Hello? Do you have that experience? Now, sa so una, kung wala pa ko nakapangayo o chinilas, makapangayo ka kung brand new ang sakyanan? No. Pero nagsugod ko pangayo sa chinilas. There was one time, uh, last month, at to me, invite ko speak sa talakag. It was a very simple church, a big church, but very simple, you know, people from the mountains. Pag park na ko sa sakyanan, Murag, kami ang hayag dito. Murag, wala yung wala sakinan nag-park. Wala. Kaulaw ba? Ani? Ay, murag, maulaw man ko nga. Murag, paggawas na ko, pag-anan na ko sa kong sapatos, bago. Sa kong karsunis, mahalon. Ako sa nina, mahalon. Pero, gatan ako, hinatagtanan. Hinatagtanan. That is what I call tangible experience of Jehovah Jireh. And why, when I entered ministry, sige ko gano'n na, unsa man ako ipakaon sa kong pamilya? I've been in the ministry now for, I think, 20 years, pero kung makita ni mo akong picture sa una o karun, makaingon ka, buhi ang ginoo. Mupakaon yun, sobra-sobra pa. experiencing the provision of the Father. You must have this testimony. Another is protector. Amen? Or loving. No. A good father is loving, protector, disciplinary, and good father. We need the character or the revelation or an experience of this character of God if we want to survive what's coming. Amen? Amen? There was one time, gikan mi of conference, pag uli, wala may libre pa ni Udto, to, gutom na kayo sanan. Kung sa inyong gusto pang itkaunun, sa church pa to sa una, kaya gusto ko glitchon manok. Ang isa da yan kay, gusto ko og litro bi litro, mga young people pa miyato. O sige, pag basiyo mo niya, basiyo, wala ko'y pagkaun. Ano na yung si Roy? Maglungag ko daan, kay ang church sa una namin ko sino, sige, lungag daan, lungag siya daan. Ampo dahil mi Lord, salamat sa lichon manok, salamat sa kok. Na ande giabot ng dalag lichon manok. Praise the Lord! Asa man ang kok? <laughs> Namay na kadumo. Gusto mo kok? Ah sige, na yung nagpalit. Ah, katong nagdala mismo. Siya gusto mo kok? O sige, palit. Nagpalit siya kok. Now, things like this, small things, but you need experiences like this. Jehovah Jireh. If you want to survive. Now, God, our Father, is our provider. But the problem is, I, 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 want, I want to stress this out. My wife is always asking me this. Seeing the kingdom is different from entering the kingdom. Ini mga bay, seeing the kingdom is different from entering the kingdom. Many people see the kingdom. They are born again. They see the kingdom, but they don't enter it. Okay? Maybe, basing matubag na yung pangutanan ni Momiga. Okay? John chapter 3, verse 3. Yung din eh, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The word there is see. Understand. Once you have the Holy Spirit, you begin to understand about the kingdom of God. Are you born again? Murag tulur akong na born again nga nadunggan din da. Mag sinner's prayer sa ata. Kung mangutan na ka ikadua ka ko born again na mutanan. Are you born again? Tanawa lagi, born again na mutanan. Once you are born again, you have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will give you understanding of what the kingdom of God is. But it's your decision to enter. Muna ingon sa John chapter 3, verse 3, unless you are born again, you will not see or understand the kingdom of God. But seeing is different from entering. Hello? And you need to experience the Father so that you can enter the kingdom of God. Now, Luke chapter 18, verse 17. 
Remember this, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Ingon din eh, kung dili daw ka sama sa usa ka bata. Okay? Kung dili ka dili nimo dawaton ang gingharian sama sa usa ka bata, dili nimo dili ka kasulod sa gingharian. I'm telling you, there are so many Christians today who understand and know about the kingdom but they don't have any experience of the kingdom. And Luke chapter 18 verse 17 says, You have, you must receive the kingdom like a child in order to enter that kingdom. Now, what is a child? A child here is, ang but masabot ni Jesus is, the faith of a child towards its father. Let me repeat that. The faith of a child towards its father. Many of us grown ups today, gapaning kamot sa atong kao galingon. Kinsa man dinis inyo nga before mo mo ato ug opisina, magampo Ginoo amahan sa langit, tabangi ko. Wala kayo no. Wala ka pa, dili ta gapangayog tabang sa tong amahan. I'm telling you, naa kay amahan mo. That's why the Lord said, I am so hurt because I have so many children but they're not asking me for help. <coughs> so many Christians today are stressed. Kay tungod, gapaning kamot sila silang kaugalingon. They do not, they do not receive the ministry of the Father towards His children. Diba? na nay nakoy na dunggan mga pastor daw dili ka kadlok sa kat, ka sana katapusan sa kalibutan ang ilang kadlokan kay katapusan sa bulan mga bayronon kami mga pastor wala mi nahadlok sa katapusan sa sana kalibutan ang among kakadlokan kay katapusan sa bulan isn't that worry amen I had three kids, pero dili ko gakabalaka sa ilang gatas. Kay tungod, ikaw may nagatag ani Lord. Ana, me and my wife always say, ikaw may nagatag ani Lord, so ikaw ang mag-provide. Mag Yaya lang me. Amen? So, <clears throat> we have to have a faith like a child in order to enter the kingdom or to experience the kingdom. I'm going to Explain this further. Okay, I want you to go to Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 32. This, is, this talks about the prodigal son. Okay, while you're pressing there, by the way, dili nato ni salaha because again, the enemy has systematically destroyed our models, our parents, as we were growing up. Now, sa industrial revolution, kabalong mo sa industrial revolution, di rin nagsugod o pop up ang mga factories where both parents are required to work. Kabalong mo sa factory, kung tinapalugar, tigsulod o tigsulod o isda, tigputos, sa pana, diya, Factory worker, day in, day out, balik-balik ang ilang trabaho. Kita ko sa leader ni Charlie Chaplin sa una, ang iyang trabaho sa factory kay tiguot o gnat. <laughs> Pag human o trabaho, may gana na na siya. Pagka o gnat, trabaho na po. Balik-balik lang. So, in the 1800s, nanunga ang mga factory, both nanginanglan ang gobyerno o Nga trabahante, babae, lalaki. So ilang gitrain. Even our school system are based on the industrial revolution. Tanawan itong school system karon. Children are trained to follow and to obey instructions. Sit down. Stand up. Keep quiet. Open your books on page. This is designed 
so that they can work as a factory worker. Pero wala na siya na change karon. Okay? Defective ang atong educational system karon kay base pa siya sa industrial revolution. In the industrial revolution, both parents has to work. Ang naitabo, ang ginikanan, wala na kay time sa anak. You know what? When sa kong family, kung mag-shabat sa lome, siya, what do you like about daddy or mommy? We have this kind of appreciation to one another. Pirmigid nila isulti is time. I like daddy because he always plays with me. He watch with me, with me, with me, with me, with me. And as a, as a youth minister for 20 years, muna ako naobserbahan, ang mga bata gani, nga gadako sa maayong ginikanan, present ang gawa, maayo sila performance, maayo batasan, maayo og panghunauna. Pero katong mga anak, bata, mga batanon nga, walay kulang og isa, na is something. Okay? But that can be uh, restored by the revelation of our Father. In fact, <coughs> I've said this over and over, tanan mga piniriso, maybe not tanan, but 90, according to statistics, in the US, more than 90% of inmates na problema sa parents. And this is a systematic destruction of young people since the Industrial Revolution. No, ang naitabo, ang Doka parents, going back to the Industrial Revolution, has to work eight hours a day, so ang mga anak, nabilin, or gi, dito din na imbinto ang school system, gipaskwila, so ang, ang parents, ang mga anak, away from each other. Okay? So as these kids, the next generation, kulang sila og love. Kulang sila og love, when the time comes nga, sila na ang naminyo, love deficient na sila. So, the next generation after that, daghan na divorce. Generation after generation after generation, now we are here. Legal na ang divorce. To the point nga, legal na pud ang same-sex marriage. The, the, sa America, gibawal ang discipline. So munang inani na atong generation current. The enemy has systematically, pwede ni siya i-off na lang. The enemy has systematically destroyed our generation by distorting the relationship between the parents and the children. Like I said, ang atong model sa ginoo sa bata pata kay ang atong ginikanan, ang atong father. <clears throat> so munang pag Kasagara Christians karon, we have a distorted perception of the Father because of our earthly fathers. And I'm telling you, it's not their fault. It has been a systematic destruction of the enemy. No munang karon, pagdagko na nato, gapanarbaho ta, we learn to strive on ourselves. Dili na ta mga sa papa. Kay tungod sa bata pa ta, naningkamot mataog ato-ato. Kabaluta nga, our Heavenly Father is a provider, but we don't have that much faith like a child. Hello? Let me tell you. Sa una, ang akong wife, gatrabaho, ang iyang sweldo, sobra pa times to sa akong madawat honorarium sa church. But I prayed to the Lord, ko, Lord, dili ni siya ang imong order. Dapat, ang wife, nabilin sa balay. Take care of the children, take care of the home, and take care of me. So I prayed ko, Lord, one day, I want my wife to stop working. Dobi kay, ito bag man sa ginawa nga akong pagampu. Pero wala ako nag-expect, akong ga-expect nga, ipadako sa niya nga akong income, ayan din sa mundang. Dobi kay, pag pray na ako ato, Gito bag mong ginin si, si Lord na. Ni Lord, pag prayer meeting, gampo ko, ang ako makita, kanabi itong matrix nga, green nga, gapanganaog, pero ang nakakita na ako kay presyo sa gatas, presyo sa diaper. So, paningot ako ba? Saan ko man ni Lord? 
But the Lord provided. The Lord provided. <coughs> now, what if the Lord will tell you? Obey lang sa ako. Undang. It takes a faith of a child to do that. And if you don't do that, you can never enter or experience the kingdom of God. Now, let's go to Luke chapter Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 32. Now, I don't want to go through to the whole parable. Are you familiar with the parable of the prodigal son? Now, I'd like to change it as a par the title as a parable of the good or a loving father. Okay? It's not really about the prodigal son. Okay, not my elder son. It's about the loving father. Now, many times in the past, I keep preaching about the prodigal son. Pero, di ala kukutub. Because it depicts the forgiveness, the love of God. But, pag abot na sa elder son, dili na kugawali ato kay, honestly, I don't have any revelation of that. But today, I have an, an understanding of that. Tungaon na ni mo, elder son o prodigal son. Ang prodigal son, para to evangelism. Ang elder son, para ni sa mga Christians nga karaan. Why na igu, diha? Kinsay karaan nga Christian dere. Ang mga bag mo ni tanan. Okay. You know about the prodigal son? He's a loving father, forgiving, protector. Pero look at the elder son. I'm telling you, if you look at the elder son, makita ninyo inyong kaugalingon. Okay, let's read. Pangitaan ninyo inyong kaugalingon ha. Ayo pagbasa, lingi da yun. Siya mani o. <laughs> Luke chapter 11. <coughs> Paringataa daw ang <laughs> elder son. I, I left my Bible. Dili niya akong Bible. Verse I think it's in 20 Dili dito look 11, look 15. Sorry. Luke 15, starting verse 11. Murag kinanglan ako maganti para. <laughs> Let's start. Verse 25. You see that? Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Now you understand the context, right? Nakauli na ang prodigal. But he answered to his father, Look, all these years I have been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet never but you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when his son of the son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened cow for him. Look at the father here. My son, the father said, you're always with me and everything I have is yours. But, but we had to celebrate, be glad because his brother of yours was dead. And he's alive again. In my version here, dili na ako makita, galisod ko og basa. In my version, okay, in my version, I was reading last night, the father, giyang gipuyok ang can you see that in your version? Gipuyok niya ang iyang anak, the elder son, to, to, to enter the house. Tama yung Bible? 
look at your Bible. Can you see that? I cannot find it because gagmay kay letter sa kong Bible. Iyang, ang sang verse tita? 31. Gihang yun niyang anak na musulod. But, look at this. The elder son refused to enter. Remember? Seeing the kingdom and entering is different. The elder son refused to enter. Why? Nga nung, dili man siya gusto mo sulod. Now, enter here is entering the house of the father. It means a closer or deeper relationship with the father. But he refused. You know why? Because he was offended. Offended by his fellow brother. Dili siya gusto mo sulod. So, this is one tendency when you're dugay na sa church. Maila na ni mga mga tao, you get offended with the people. So, the reason for the elder son, nga dili mo sulod, it's because, maski grabe na ang hangyo sa iya papa, it's because he was offended by a fellow brother. He was angry. And look at his mentality. He is slaving siya. I have been slaving all my life and I have never disobeyed you. Now, this is a Christian nga dugay na sa church, wala gigihawa sa church, active sa church, but offended, pero dili ga, gatrabaho sa iyang kaugalingon, niya, walay intimate relationship with the Father. He's just outside the field. He's never inside the house talking or communicating in intimacy with the Father. That sounds so many Christians today. Okay? And the Father is saying, come, come, come inside. Talk to me. But the son, the elder son refused. This, is, this sounds like many of us. Hello? He works like a slave. Kinsa may nagsugo sa iya nga magpakaulipon. Diba? Ingon ang amahan, Anak, tanan ang ako, imo. Dugay ko kasabot ani. Tanan ako, imo. So meaning, he could have asked anything and the Lord could have given him, the Father could have given him. Unfortunately, iyang mentality inana. Ang iya kay, ah, ministry lang ko. Trabaho lang ko. Save na bitaw ko. Remember, salvation is no longer an issue here. It's about entering the kingdom. Entering the rest of the, fa- the, rest of the Father. So, <coughs> nita bo, trabaho lang siya, niya offended. Okay? So, gahulat lang siya, save na siya, pero wala siya deep relationship or deep interaction with the Father. This kind of attitude is just seeing the kingdom but not entering it. Not experiencing it. Not experiencing the provision, the peace, the goodness, the love of God. Na, 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 I'll close with this. Okay, na, sa Japan, na, gitawag o kerushi. Karushi. Kadong na na? Karushi. Say with me, Karushi. <coughs> the gun, Karushi means death through overwork. <coughs> Ang mga tao sa Japan magtrabaho 15 hours to 18 hours a day. Kada Friday, makita kag mga naka Amerika na, naka Atachi case, gahigda sa dalan. Ang uban kay mga kuya pa na nga sa dalan. Ang uban kay dili na nila matake ang stress sa trabaho, mga mbak. Daghan, 2015, the government was alarmed because so many of their young professionals are committing suicide. Stress, overwork. Nagsugod daw ni pagkapildi nila sa World War II. And then the emperor said, we need to revive our economy. So everyone was required to work overtime. Nya karon gilambo na sila wala no wala na ilang gipadayon nga culture so karon daghan nga matay so 2015 they passed a law aya pa sila nakamata nga dili na pwede mag overtime ang mga taba, trabahante beyond 15 hours and this is not just happening in Japan it's happening worldwide 
Do you think this sounds like slaving? Murag Elder Sano, I am slaving myself. And I believe the Lord did not design us to work to stress us. Hello? But the Lord designed us to work. <coughs> to work in His field, not to stress us out. Now, I want to spend time today. Do you have needs? Hello, do you have needs? You need to experience Jehovah Jireh. I remember, uh, one of our members here, ingon siya nga, sa una, trabaho siya. Krabi iyan trabaho. Hago kaya siya. Pag-abot sa barelos. Sakit na kayang lawas. Inyana siya nga, Lord, I don't deserve this. Grabe akong kahago, pero mura ni akong kita. Ano siya? Nangayo sa nangayo sa ni Lord, nangayo sa si Father, nangayo sa ni Father. Tagay kong trabaho Lord na kung unsa akong kahago, inanapod kada ko akong kita and the Lord answered his prayer. I'm telling you, are you stressed out today? That is not God's will for you. Maybe you are stressed out because you neglect, you, you you don't have a revelation of the Father. Hello? Wala ko kita og bata. Bata nga na stress. Tungod og pinangita og kwarta o asa sa mangitag pagkaon. Ang mga bata mo demand na sila because they have faith in their father. I'm telling you right now, what is your need? We'll ask the Lord for your needs today. Okay? I want you to come on worship team. I want you to come up here. <coughs> Stress is not the will of the Lord. Okay? Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. The only way for us to have rest is to enter into the house of the Father because He is a good provider. Now, some of us are so weary of doing things on our own. Let me remind you, you have a Father. Amen. Ini mga abay gikapoy baka. Natay amahan. So, I want you to stand up. Whatever need you have right now. Unsa man gani imong gikinanglan? Ask like a child. Ask like a child. Do you want are you stressed from your work? And you need another job? Ask the Father, Lord, give me an, another job. Do you need um, <clears throat> Do you need a new house or whatever? Or you have problems with your any basic need, okay, that you worry about right now? I'm telling you, you have a Father. That's why the Bible says, ask, seek. The Bible says, you have not because you ask not. The Father is commanding us to ask from Him. Whatever you need right now, ask it from the Lord. I'm sharing you this because we need to have an experience of Jehovah Jireh. The Father, our provider. Kung magsigi na ni mo ka-experience ang provision sa ginoo, you will have confidence in life. Right now, whatever your need is, lift it up to the Father and ask, Lord, I need this. Help me. As we worship the Lord, I want you to communicate with the Lord. Come into His house. Come into His room. And talk to your father like a child would talk to its father. And ask, to your, ask your father like a child would ask its father. Your place 
that little child in Jerusalem who was lost and he's running around he's crying Abba, Abba, Abba I just feel like some of you are like that you're lost you have lost touch with our Abba Father come on just cry out if you feel lost today, today you're confused you have no direction you need to hold Abba Father's hand. Come on, just begin to cry out, Abba. Sometimes, no, not sometimes, all the time. All we need to say is just Abba. And the Lord knows. The Lord knows what you need. Your specific needs. Come on, just cry out, Abba. Cry out, Abba. Lord, Abba. If you're so loaded and stressed right now, just cry, Abba, Abba. If you're confused and you need direction in your life, just cry, Abba, Abba. Father, I need you. Oh. Cast all your burdens, all of you who are carrying heavy loads. Take Abba's yoke, for it is light. Come on, cry out, Abba. Take away all the heavy load in my heart. Take away the heavy load in my life. I want to hold your hand and walk with you, Lord. For you are my Father. You are my Abba. You are good. You are good. And you love me. Come on. Some of you need Jehovah Jireh, Abba Father's provision. Just begin to ask, Lord, I need this much. I need this. Provide, oh God. You are my Father. Whatever your need is, lift it up to the Lord. For it is His good pleasure to give the kingdom to you, to us. Ask and knock and seek. Experience my, my 
provision, my love, and my goodness. I want to pour it out to you. just begin to say you are my father I have a father my heavenly father come on reach out to him reach out to him it takes a faith of a child
Continue to ask the Lord for anything that you need. we can see you, Lord, that we can feel you. And if you have faith enough, you can be so real to us more than anything that we could touch or see on earth. Lord, I pray that you'd give us this kind of faith, a faith of a child towards its father. For we need this, Lord. For we need to enter your kingdom. Not just see it, God, but enter it and experience all the good things that you have for us. Thank you, Lord. Please grab a partner and just begin to pray for one another. Pray for a deeper revelation of God, our Father. One good thing about having a father is nakay kadaganan. Amen? Nakay kaduulan. <laughs> 